All right, guys, we're back in the booth tonight. I wanted to thank our sponsor of the video, LureBuild.com. Jimmy has excellent blanks, eyes, stencils from Insane Custom Stencils. He has his own brand. Uh, so go check him out, LureBuild.com, for all your painting and lure supply needs. So let's get to it. All right. We are back at it tonight, and we're going to have a special video. We're actually going to use the new Lure Coat Epoxy by Lure Build. Uh, it's a great product. I think you're going to really love it. Um, Jimmy and LureBuild.com offer so many things now. They offer the, the Lure Coat Epoxy. He offers paints now shifting paints in all colors, all the blanks, eyes. It's just a, he really is a one-stop shop. So go see him at lurebuild.com. Get your blanks, your eyes, your epoxy, your paints. He even sells these sticks that we're, that we're holding the lures with too. He offers those at a great price. I've bought a bunch of those. I love using them. Um, but the video tonight, what we're actually going to do is we're going to use the lure coat. We're going to go ahead and do two lures. And um, I'm going to show you how it is and, and what my thoughts are. Uh, so let's get to it. All right, let me clear this off a little bit. And let me get my drug dealing scale out here and get it rolling. I got that at Amazon. Let me go ahead and hit my tear weight. Okay, so what we're going to do, it's a one-to-one -one mix. That's 105, so we'll do 210. Let's see how many that does. That's a little over. It'll be all right. It's close enough. That's how I do it. Um, a lot of people do it differently. I don't want to do it eyeballing it. I think that's a little dangerous with the epoxy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stir it up really good. Get it kind of warmed up. Move this out of the way. Get a good mix on it. I gotta get up in this camera. I always wanna get off the camera. I like to mix it really good. You probably got a good 30 minute work time with this. I've had very good results with this. Not a lot of bubbles. So we'll clean that off, set it down, set this to the side. And I'll start with this one. I actually did this lure the other night. It was a holographic lure. I called it an Inferno Gill. And I like to get my, I like to mix it in my brush, get my brush good and wet. If you're an epoxy guy, you're gonna be excited about this. He has really come up with a great product. And I mean, it is nice. It's very smooth. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. kind of gotten away from the Harbor Freight brushes, especially with the epoxy that's kind of thinner. When I was using the DEFCOM, they actually worked a little bit better. That stuff was a little bit thicker. I think it helped, but 
These brushes, I get these from Walmart. They're cheap. You can get them for a buck and a half for a bag of them. And I just throw them out. I don't worry about cleaning them or reusing them. But it really has a great finish. And he offers it in multiple sizes. So go to the website, check him out, give it a try. And I think you'll be tickled to death with it. It's um, a very, very good product. I personally turn everything. Um, I don't, well, anytime I epoxy, I put it on my turner, but I think you can actually use lure coat without a turner. I just like to, I just like to spin it because it is, any epoxy is going to be self-leveling. But you can see it is almost flawless. I always do my bills. This is one of those circuit board bills and it seems to be doing great. I'll do a video later on my wheel and all that. I gotta clean up the shop a little bit. But you are definitely not gonna go wrong with this if you have not tried it. And I'll give you another tip, and I didn't do it on these bottles because these are brand new, but a lot of times I'll just take the bottles and I'll just take a, um, a, a glass measuring cup and I'll put some, I'll put, you know, I'll fill it up to about maybe a cup and then I'll put it in the microwave for a minute so it'll get it warm and I'll just let them sit in there for a minute. Um, and then I'll take them out and then I'll do my lures. And I've had very good luck with that. But I've done that with all epoxy, whether it was True Coat, Defcom, um, the uh, the BFI, whatever that other stuff is called that I use. But you can see it is just, it gives a fantastic finish. It doesn't have a bubble in it. It doesn't run. I'm going to be switching to this full time. I'm going to hang this one up, let it turn. I'm going to do this other one. It takes, I mean, actually I've, I've used two. I could probably do a, another lure, but I just did these lures. I did just did this perch last night. Um, and you can see when I get it on the Chrome here, cause you really couldn't see that in my picture last night, but the Chrome really jumps when I put the lure coat on it. It has really got a nice finish. Cause this lure, I did a, a technique where I kinda, I'll have to show you on a video. It kinda turned out one of the guys had said, um, I think it was from Louisville Stencils. It looked like watermelon rind and that's pretty much what it is. I, I learned that trick years ago. And I'll have to do a video to show you how you can get that result. But it really does a good job on these baits. I think you're really going to like it. It's not expensive. He offers it in multiple sizes for anybody's budget. But it does a great job. It has no bubbles in it whatsoever. And it's no different than any other epoxy I use. I just go over it a couple times each way. It's got great coverage. But you can really see the chrome in it now that I've gotten the epoxy on it. But it looks fantastic.
But that warming it up is a key trick. Because like I said, a lot of epoxies will get thick. And I don't like putting them on my baits when they're thick like honey. I'd rather it be a little bit looser texture than that. I get better results. And it takes very little to do a bait. It's, it's kind of like the true coat in that sense. Um, it doesn't take a lot to do it. And that's going to help, especially with you guys that are selling. But I think it's going to give you a, it, well, it's going to give a way better finish than KBS. KBS is really old news. And I know why guys use it. They want to use it because they can dip and go and they're selling lures. But I'll be honest with you, when I do baits, if I was going to sell again, I want my baits to have a quality finish. And I just, KBS is just too hit and miss. I've used it for years. And the epoxy just is a way better top coat, in my opinion. I mean, everybody's got their opinion. So don't go crazy in the comment box. That's just my opinion. But I just wanted to do a short video. I just got it in today, another load. And I wanted to do a video. But it actually is very nice. So go check Jimmy out at lurebill.com. Like I said, he's an innovator. He is really growing his business. He has um, he has got the paints. I, I just got these today. I'm going to try them. I've even got a secret one here. We call that Jimmy Juice. It doesn't even have a name on it yet. You can't even get that one yet, but that's going to be another hot item. So go check him out, not only for your lure blanks, your eyes, your stencils, um, but now you, he, you, he's got the option for you to go to the epoxy. So hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification that you'll, that you'll know I'm doing more videos. Go check Jimmy out, lurebuild.com, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks.